Uh, my name is Ian Lochran, I'm the Assistant Tree Nursery Manager um, here at the Tree Nursery at Binton. Today with volunteers, a group of volunteers, we've been float testing acorns to distinguish between those that, um, that float and those that sink. The sinkers we're planting into seed trays, they're more likely to be viable um, and, uh, and the floaters we're going to put into the seed beds in the spring um, down in the field. Uh, we've been um, uh, mixing heat-free compost with vermiculite, which helps to bulk it up a little bit and give it a bit more um, moisture retention as well within the seed trays. Uh, we've been filling up the cells, plopping the acorns in and then filling up again and taking them around the side to, to overwinter outside and then in the spring they'll start to sprout um, and, um, and then grow and this time next year in the autumn of, uh, of next year that's when we will bundle up the the oaks and, uh, and all the sweet chestnuts and the hazels that we've got around there. We'll bundle up into groups of 10 and plant them out to make new forest. So the acorns that we planted in March and April in the seed trays, they'll be going out uh, within the next couple of weeks. Whereas in the field, it takes a lot longer. It takes, can take up to two years for, uh, for oak saplings to be ready to lift and then plant out in their final place.